You know, when I think about the experimentation that they went through and all the trials they've gone through for more than a year and they're still having bugs, I hate to think about the cost of it. And uh, in the end... When you think about the opinion of the leader in the company thinking about these type of mistakes, these are really a small part of the process. I think the company is really looking forward to learning more about this technology, deploying it to more and more people, and of course improving the technology. And that's the end goal. I think at the end of the day, a yogurt or small islands that will go through a system without cash is a small price to pay really for a company of such magnitude as Amazon. This is a novelty though, right, uh, Edgar? I mean, the company has got no plans to, for a mass rollout. They're not going to do this with Whole Foods or anything like this. I mean, uh, you know, a lot, of, I mean, I choose to, 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 to go through the U-scan line myself if I don't want to wait for a human uh, cashier, so I already have a choice. I mean, that's enough for me, that's enough for most people, that's going to be the standard for the next decade at least, isn't it? This is the future. I think if you look at Amazon 10 years ago, they didn't have Amazon Web Services. Now that's a part of the business paying the bills. In the same way, I see this technology deploying it to not only to Amazon our properties, but also to other companies selling this technology I think that's going to be part of the main profit sources for Amazon if we look at the company in 10 or 15 years. Uh, what's the bigger story here, uh, Edgar? You know, when I think of this, when I think of all the effort that they're paying in Silicon Valley and elsewhere uh, to uh, autonomous driving and, you know, taking the, you know, the human being out of the loop, I'm not sure where we end up, you know, down the line in the next generation. Do you have a better idea of where that's going to, where the end point is for this? Yes, I actually lead workshops on deep learning, which is the application, the practical application of artificial intelligence. Let me tell you, at this moment, we're only at the level of intelligence of rats. <laughs> so if you think about really the elimination of human work, jobs, we're still a long way. There's a lot of progress in there, yes, but still we are a long way from that point called singularity, where you say that a machine is going to reach the point of the human intelligence. That's still a long way to go. I think, as Amazon's mm -hmm. example shows, there are still people there helping you to improve the experience. So it's not that people are going to disappear from the job force. I think there are going to be other new categories for people to be employed.